Yeah, so the water is looking good. I just reached one here, I thought the water would have rougher than this. It's a good one today. It's a good look today. Tired though. <laughs> I walk with so much weight so far, you know. Yeah, man. Sometimes I wonder if we can stop right here, so. You know? So I'll try it out still, you know. I'm going to try out the whole other the line there. I'll try out the whole other little section here, right here, so. One day. But not today. Yes, yeah, another day around by Port Royal. You know, this is the only place now I can fish right now. Port Royal. So I'm doing a lot of fishing around by Port Royal. You know? Set up the live bait rod. I want to stop a bite around here, sir. You know? All the while I come around here is jack, pure jack, 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 jack. I never catch a snapper yet around this side. I wonder if snuffle bite around here. Nice bit. I use a, I use a, ba a bang. I use a bang. A uh, toughie. I use a toughie. I'm going to use a toughie first. I'm going to use a pilchard. First thing I'm going to use is a pilchard. So. Alright, don't show about now. First thing, fill chance. How far can you go? Let us see. Pretty far. Eh? Yeah. Alright, so I put up my first my first um fill chat live bit. My first bait is out, my life bait, and that is a pill chance. So I'm gonna see if anything gonna pick up that one now. I don't see any action into the live bait, so I'm gonna do some casting and see if I can pick up anything otherwise, you know. So I'm gonna just cast out this little bait that I found on my tackle box some time ago. I don't know if it's if it's gonna work, if it's if it have any use. I don't know if it have any use, but I'm gonna try. I have little use, yes, because it's a little, like a little white fry, stunted white fry, you know? it might have a little use. I tell you, say, man, I can't angle this too right there, you know. I just catch a fish a while ago, I mean, I tell you, say, you have to drop the cast in the rod. I what kind of fish this now? Like a jack again, you know, man. Another big jack, you know. Uh, pure jack, you know. Jack or again, you know, man. Can't bet it's a jack, you know. <sighs> Come on. Running like a jack or a blue runner. He's it a, a blue runner or a crocodile. Blue runner. See ya. Beautiful. Blue runner man. <laughs> this is a blue runner. This is a blue runner. See him there? <laughs> Another blue runner. Around here says blue runner city, you know. Watch it. Another blue runner, a nice size, you know. I tell you, beautiful fish though. Alright, so I'm going one. All right, put him in the ice box. All right, another pill chance. All right, so here we go again, guys. Another one.
So right here, so it's coming like it's Blue Runner City. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, as soon as I hook up again, I get back to you, alright? Fish on again, brother. Fish on, fish on. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here, man. Where are you going? I said, come here. Come here, man. Come here. Barracuda. Oh, shucks. Barracuda. Barracuda, man. Nice eating size barracuda. See in there? Beautiful. See there? Barracuda, guys. Nice eating size. Yes. Long time. I'm going to catch a bar, you know. Guys, I have to go for the bigger lip gripper. See there? The bigger one. This one looks like I'm going to bite off my finger. Come here. Nice barracuda, guys. See in there? Nice eating size barracuda. Fish on again. Live bait barracuda. No cigarette poisoning. Fish on. So I caught one, one barracuda, one green jack, or one blue runner jack. So I'm on a ball this morning. Let us see again now. If I can catch anything else again. Come on, one more. Alright, another tough, another pilchard again. Alright. And that is it. And uh, yeah, one more picture again. Come, let's go out there. So I'm still here waiting on the rat to run. Same way. Breeze come up now, so I don't know if we get any more run. My, if we get a run now, it would be a jack. Alright, I'm gonna check out the live bait here and see if it's live or it did. It's supposed to be live, same way, but I check it still because I can't breathe, so I'm not getting a run yet. Please, can I get too strong now, yeah, man? So, I'm gonna pack up and leave this place. Alright, so. There is two of my subscribers, you know, that asked me to do something. Asked me to explain something, and I want to do it in this video. I'm not sure you can hear me properly, but I'm gonna try and do it in this video because I don't know if I can get a chance to do it again. And being as I'm out here with the live bait, I'm gonna explain it, right? One of my subscribers asked me to explain what kind of setup I'm using, alright? And another one asked me to explain how I pin my live bait, right? Now, I'm gonna use a dead bait to demonstrate this one, right? Alright, so I have this dead bang, right? This one, this is a dead bang I was using this morning, and right? I never get any hook up or anything, and it seems like something was all in the back, right? Down here, so maybe it's something small, I could manage this, could manage this bait here, right? all right so first of all i'm going to explain the setup right now i'm using the carolina rig everybody is supposed to know the carolina rig or if you don't know you can google it I'll, I'll, or i'll put a link in my description to show you how i set up this rig which is two which is a sinker this is the main line coming from the rod this line here see there that man running onto now and then i use a sinker a swivel right I have a swivel, I put a sinker on the main line. You can use whether one ounce or two ounce sinker, depending on how the water is. It's like the water is rough now, there now. You can use a two ounce, but if the water is calm, you can use a one ounce. Or if you want to throw it very far, use a three ounce, right? But any amount of weight you want to put on it, you can put it on it, right? But the basic setup is the, the, the sinker on the main line, then you use a swivel right here. You can use a 40 pound swivel or a 30 pound swivel and then I use a 40 uh, this is about this is kind of short I use like 18 inches a 40 pound leader attached to the swivel you guys seen that see there swivel 40 pound leader which is trialing leader this is 15 pound main line that is the only line I have right now on this rod all right you can use 25 pound or 20 pound depending on what type of line, what size line you have on your reel. It doesn't matter. But I have 15 right now and I just use the 15. Right? And then onto that 18 inches of leader wire, I put a little piece of wire. Yeah, that, that 18 inches, onto that 18 inches of leader line. 
attach a little piece of wire on the tip of the line about six inches or five inches where I put my three yard circle up right reason for the wire is that sometimes you have like kingfish or barracuda out there and they will cut off your line if you use if you use the, the plain line alone right so I put a little piece of wire that if they come and take my bait they don't cut off my, 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 my line and, and, and grab the bait and I don't get him so I use the wire right so that's how I come in the wire right here I'll show you one of these days I'll show you how I attach the wire to the leader I don't use a swivel right I just attach a line to the wire very strong see there see it right here I don't know if you can see it right here so I'll show you how I'll do that but it's very strong it can't pull off back again right and that's a basic setup guys right so I hope this one answer your question guys right now the other one now the other subscriber asked me to explain our pin my, my live bait now I'm using a dead bait to demonstrate this right when the wind is like this right and you're using this kind of setup which is a Carolina rig setup you have to pin your bait in the nose the nose pin so this is the bait you pin the bait in the nose like that right a nose pin you have to do it like that when the, when the, when the wind is like this and the water is rough and you're using a sinker right and you want that bait to throw very far out right you have to use this on the on the carolina rig you have to use a nose pin right right this is the, the pin i use when i'm out here most of the time now the other pin i use sometimes is when i'm doing light line light line meaning that i don't use a sinker on it i take off the sinker and I use the leader on the hook alone right that is when the weather is calm the water is calm that's when I use a light line, right? To fish for snook. And when you use a light line, it just starts it out like in the surf, right? At the front of the water, because in the front of the water there, you have a trough, a little, a little um, gutter like in the water that the fish travel in, the snook travel in. So I don't need to throw it very far. So when I use light line, whenever the water has come, I use light line. And when I use the light line, I normally love to pin it right behind the anal fin. The anal fin is right down here, but I just pin it like right here. Right? So you pin it like this. Right? And that's how you pin this one. Right? So you pin it right behind the anal fin. Or just over the anal fin. Don't go too far up in the intestine because you're going to damage the fish. You're going to kill the fish. Right? Now, you can pin it like that. Or you can also pin it in the nose. You can also pin it in the nose like that also when you're using light line right but i love to pin it right behind the anal fin right here because the fish when you put this fish out there alive and him swimming him swim like him injured like an injured fish and then you'll get the snook grab this fish very fast but when you pin it in the nose the fish is frisky so you keep running up and down and run from the, the snook you know, sometimes the snook will just pass and go to another bait that look stunted. Now if my bait is out there and it look like it's swimming stunted because when you pin it in the tail here over the anal fin, it swims stunted and it swims down. It swims down trying to force itself out to go out. Right? So the fish, the snook or, or the jack or any fish will grab that bait, right? So those are the two methods I use to pin my, my life bait. Through the nose, depending on the condition of the water, or through the over the anal fin all right guys so i don't know if you can hear me properly but those are the two methods i use and that is the setup i use guys i hope that answers the question the both questions so i'm gonna leave out of here now guys all right all right so hit that now here now go and cook up them two little fish here now and then jam the dinner I'll catch you guys at home all right fish on this is mr barracuda now 
going to stick this one up traditionally, all right? See you now guys, barracuda, stick up the barracuda you know, see you guys, yeah, come on, we'll do the traditional way, we'll stick it up, so we're going to find a way to cook it now, right, so, we'll catch you in the kitchen, alright? 